Francho, great to have you here today. And thank you so much for giving us a real life example of your experience with our team when it comes to finding the right customers, getting those customers to know your business and your brand and trusting you enough to do business with you. So I'd like to kick off with a couple of questions. Can you just explain very briefly who you are and what you do at your business, please? Afternoon, Dalian. Thank you for the opportunity to share some of our success stories with, uh, with you and your team. So I'm the CEO of Securitas Financial Group. We're a financial services company, got a nationwide footprint. Our head office is based here in the Boardwalk in Pretoria. And uh, we service a whole range of financial services for the South African communities. We specialize in all the disciplines. We've got specialist advisors in each discipline. Um, and we are, as I said, a nationwide business. Thank you so much. And Francho, you've got a, a long-standing corporate career and also a business career. I believe you've worked for more than 15 years in a corporate company and now you head up Securitas. Is that correct? Yes, Talen, I came from Momentum. I had a 15-year career there. I uh, started fresh out of varsity with them and, uh, and went through the ranks. And then the opportunity to join Securitas came up last year, early last year, and uh, myself and Fanny, the CEO, were in long discussions about it. And I really saw the potential of joining a business like Securitas and assisting this business to take it to the next level and make it future fit whilst building on the legacy that Fanny and team has built over years. Excellent. And, I, and I, your experience is just is so suitable and we can see the difference that you are making at Securitas Financial Group. So congratulations with this and how you're leading your team. Thank you, Dylan. You're welcome. So a couple of questions from our side because we'd like to share this with other, other businesses who are looking for a fit in a company to assist them to moving from moving their brand from invisible to becoming brand of choice in the industry. So before we engaged with your team, Francois, what was your, what were the hiccups when it comes to marketing or the problems that you faced? Dalen, I think the biggest challenge for any business is understanding that a marketing strategy should supplement and drive your business strategy. And last year we had a couple of exco sessions with the various business divisions and we set out a strategy for the next three to five years, as all businesses do every year. But we didn't understand the elements that sit underneath that to take us to the next level. So there are certain things that are in your control to get new customers into your business. By referrals, the traditional way of marketing, cold calling, et cetera, et cetera. But we soon realized that we needed a ticket to the game. And the ticket to the game is having a brand presence which unfortunately at that stage we didn't have. We were well known in the financial services industry. Fani has got a 40 year legacy in the business. Everyone knows who Fani Vassarman is in the insurance industry, but everyone didn't know who Securitas was. The thing that made it more difficult for us is that there is a massive security company in South Africa called Securitas. And people associated our brand with them as opposed to a financial services business. So we quickly realized that if we wanted to become market leaders in the financial services industry, we had to go and build a brand presence. And for me, it's not a nice to have. It's a must have. As I said, it's a ticket to the game. If you don't have it, you are behind. So we realized that we needed expert advice to help us to build a brand strategy. So we sat down as a business and we said we've got three different options. The first option is we keep doing what we keep doing and we keep getting the same results. The second option was to go and appoint a marketing person in our business. What we realized is, is that you can appoint a marketing person in your business, but without having a team behind them, they can only do so much. So if you have to appoint a marketing manager, they need a graphic designer, they need a communication specialist, they need a writer, and there's an IT support system that goes with it. Besides all of those things, you also need a data analyst to help you with data mining to drive sales activities. And we quickly realized that for us to go and appoint all of those people, it's going to cost us a lot more money than contracting with a business. Then we started our journey by seeing various different product suppliers. And then you and your team prepared a nice video for us when you couldn't get hold of us. And that immediately grabbed our attention. And we said, we have to see these people. We had one meeting with you. The CEO was down from George, up from George 
the day after you made yourself available we met with you and your team and we signed the deal a week later fantastic franchel thank you and and i think what's so important here is the fit the fit with the company that you that you work with for your brand is so important because that trust has to be there so i really appreciate that feedback